I love essential oils. When I was working as a CFO and I had to drive an hour every day on the way there and an hour on the way back, I decided that I would start listening to books on tape. Well, I decided that I wanted to use Audible and I found this whole series on essential oils. So I spent two years <laughs> every day on the way there and back listening to recipes and why you should use them. And I discovered this whole new world of how to deal with pain and how to deal with issues without having to take, you know, crazy medications. So I have had a lot of problems with foot pain and it's just kind of something that I've had off and on for years. So I found this really great, this really great recipe and I wanted to share it with you. And I want to just kind of tell you about what I've learned about what works for pain as far as which essential oils. So as far as the essential oils that I use, I started out with doTERRA and I really like doTERRA. It's a great quality. Young's Living is great. But I found this place called Eden's Garden and I did a lot of research on it and you know I knew what methods had to be used because I've listened to all this <laughs> education on it and they really have great processes and they use natural processes. They're not using chemicals. They're using distilled and steam and what they should be doing and they're so much less expensive a you know the reason they're so much less expensive is because they're not a multi-level marketing company so young's living and doTERRA although they're great companies they're that multi-level marketing so they essentially don't pay for advertising they have their uh, representatives who pay to get in do that and then they it's almost like they um, they make money by selling it and getting people under them and under them well that costs a lot of money to do that so their oils are a lot more expensive but really I can tell you that I found a lot of ways to check to see if the um, Eden's Garden was the same. There's a few tests you can do um, with uh, styrofoam cups and pennies to see if they all are the same. And they were exactly the same. So just don't waste your time <laughs> with all of that like I did. Uh, it's just, it's very inexpensive. Now I'm not affiliate. I just personally like them. So I thought I would share that with you, but I wanted to share <clears throat> what I've found really works well for pain. So many people have uh, issues with pain these days. You know, just there's a lot of diseases out there. There's fibromyalgia, there's cancer, MS. I have friends with MS and it really it just makes you hurt a lot and what you don't want to do is get on something like Oxycontin and then get stuck on that. There's a lot of natural ways that you can relieve pain without having to resort to that. So I thought I would just go through so I thought I would just go through some of the ones that I've learned and what they work for. So let's talk about back pain first. So back pain is usually inflammation or it's nerve. Okay, so the best essential oils to use for your back would be ginger, wintergreen, and lavender. So those three together really will help in equal parts can really help control back pain. So if you have nerve pain, then you want to go with uh, eucalyptus 
Eucalyptus is excellent for anything that is related to nerves. Eucalyptus is great for your sinuses, so if you have any issues with your sinuses, uh, eucalyptus is great. Lemongrass is great for that. Neck pain. I have a lot of neck pain sometimes because I carry stress right up here in my shoulders. And so I did a lot of experiments with this trying to find ones that work for me. And what I found works is wintergreen, rosemary, ginger, and frankincense. And I put them in equal parts. And I just put them in a little roller with fractionated coconut oil. And then I roll it right on my neck and my shoulders. And it really does. It helps a lot. So here's an odd one for you. So do you ever have pain in your jaw? Well, I have a tendency to grind my teeth at night, especially if I'm stressed, I will grind my teeth. And so then my jaw will start to hurt right along here. So that's called TMJ pain. And what you can do for that is you can take uh, wintergreen and lavender and put it in a little roller bottle and just roll it on right along your jawline. So you always want to mix your essential oils with a carrier oil. So fractionated oil is a carrier oil. Almond oil is a carrier oil. And I'll do a whole video on what carrier oils are and what they're, you know, what the best ones to use are. Foot pain. So I'd mentioned that I was going to give you a recipe for foot pain. So I'm going to give you a recipe and then I'm going to show you how to make it. So I have a lot of problems with foot pain. I have plantar fasciitis and it can be really annoying because I've been on this weight loss journey and I've wanted to exercise, but every time I try to exercise, my foot hurts. So it just kind of causes me frustration and issues. So the best things to work for inflammation, that's usually what's causing this, right? It's inflammation in your foot. Let's say you have inflammation in your knee, wherever. The two top ones for inflammation and pain are always going to be frankincense and wintergreen. If you don't use anything else, those two are really, really awesome to use. They help reduce swelling and they help reduce pain. So I use them in equal parts and I just throw them in with coconut oil and then I just rub it on my foot. Kidney pain. So I have kidney stones and it can be really pretty painful. A great one for that is thyme. So I just get some thyme and I just put it in some in some fractionated coconut oil. I have a lot of little roller bottles and I just label them so I know what they are. And I just run it along my back and it really does help. So if you had tendon pain, a great one to use would be uh, frankincense. Like I said, frankincense is always just a great go-to for any kind of pain or inflammation. Hip pain. So my mother has had both her hips replaced and she has rolling hip pain sometimes. So what we found uh, works for that is frankincense, wintergreen, and I put in a little lavender. So lavender is really great if you want to do anything that is related to healing. So let's say that you burn yourself. So I'm a crafter, you can see back here, and I get burnt all the time with hot glue. Well, I grab my lavender oil and I put it on a cotton ball and I wrap a band-aid around it with that lavender on it 
and I'm going to tell you, the healing time is ridiculously fast. So the whole reason that essential oils were really discovered and popular was because a doctor burned himself and he stuck his hand in some lavender essential oil and he discovered that it healed so much faster. So that's one of the reasons why it's so popular. And, you know, it kind of comes and goes. People call it, you know, homeopathic or whatever you want to call it. But let's face it. It's natural. God made it. It's here. We're supposed to use it. At least that's how I feel about it. And so I think it's great. It doesn't mean I don't think you should not still see your doctor and not still take your medications that you're supposed to, but it can help so you don't have to take quite as many medications. Uh, leg pain. So both of my boys are, uh, one's a teenager, just turned a teenager, and the other one's 11, so we've had, you know, <clears throat> growing pains in their legs. So I looked up one for that, and winter green, again, is the go-to. Now when you're putting essential oils on kids, you definitely want to check and make sure that they're safe because not all of them are safe for kids. What I'm going to tell you about is bone pain. So bone pain, you know, can come with certain types of cancer, if you have um, circulation problems, can be really debilitating. So the best ones to use for bone pain are frankincense, wintergreen, and eucalyptus. So the three of those combined together in equal parts with the fractionated oil really does help a lot. So I, I think you can kind of see a pattern here. So frankincense and wintergreen are the two absolutely necessary things you need to have in your arsenal if you're going to try out essential oils. So there's there's so many things essential oils can <clears throat> relieve. And I am planning to share lots of the recipes that I have found through trial and error. I've tried out different things, you know, different recipes I've found. So I'll be sharing the ones that work for me and hopefully they'll work for you. But I will get set up and I will show you how to make the one for foot pain. Because I need a new one. <laughs> so I thought I would just go ahead and share how I do, how I make mine. Okay. So now we are going to make a little roll on for foot. So what I do is I get these little roller bottles. Now, when you're using essential oils, you want to make sure that you use colored glass containers. You never want to use plastic and you don't want to use clear because they will break down and they will destroy the plastic. They'll leach right into it. So they're powerful. So you want to make sure you have something like this. Okay, and we're going to be using, we're going to be using fractionated coconut oil. So the difference between regular coconut oil and this is this is already put into a liquid state. So it's really made for things such as this. So remember I said that frankincense and wintergreen are great for any type of swelling and pain. So we're definitely going to use those. And this one, and I, I'm terrible at pronouncing things, so it's Copabia. It's C-O-P-A-B-I-A. -A. This stuff is great for foot pain. Okay, so we're going to use all three of these in equal parts. We're going to take 10 drops of each. So I just take my little roller bottle and I just put 10 drops in. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the frankincense. Now we're going to do the winter green. Then our last one. Then what you do is you take your fractionated coconut oil and you just pour it in until you get it close to the top. There we go. It does make a mess. That's why I have this little pad here. Now these come with a little roller insert. So you just stick it in there like that. It has a nice little lid. Okay, and then what you do is you just gently move it back and forth like this. So you want to mix it all. And then you just take this and this has a roller on it and you just roll it right across your foot and you can use it two or three times a day so I would suggest that when you make these you label them because you'll forget what's in what container all right so I hope that helped you and that I can tell you the coconut oil is going to make your skin feel great <laughs> that's one great benefit and it smells good mm. Alright, well I hope this helps you. Let me know if you tried it and if it helped you any. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.